three, two, one, and hey everybody, this is Rena with 1111 Raptured Saints. Today I am going to be doing a study that's basically on the two witnesses, and so I'm very excited. I have a lot of verses that I'm going to bring forth, and we're just going to go through them, and then afterward, afterward we can talk about it, um, or if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments, and or any prayers as well. And I'm going to pray just a moment. I wanted to show you guys that I ordered these uh, these sweatshirts right here. It says that you may you may not like me, but Jesus thinks I'm to die for. Okay. And on the back we have Isaiah 54:17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. With the wings. And let me know if you guys if if you're interested. Okay, because I did go out and. I spent a lot of money on these, and so I'd like to get them out to you guys. We have t-shirts. We also have t-shirts as well, okay? And I've been going around Springfield and giving them away for free, and um, we have a certain amount left. I've been giving them out to people, people that needed, like they were on the street and they didn't really have much, and so, you know something? That's a good thing, right? All right. So listen, I'm going to start out right now, you guys. We're going to start the study on the two witnesses. But first, I just want to ask that you would all just join me in prayer. Father Abba, I pray that you would give us spirit uh, and wisdom from above and not of this world. I pray that your glory and your, your just your harmony and beauty would saturate the atmosphere just like your son's glory and his beauty and his just um, to just saturate the atmosphere and to surround this house and this building with holy warring Psalm 91 angels. I also pray a hedge of protection over the entire broadcast. Everybody that's watching this, their homes, their hedges, I plead the blood of Jesus over their homes. And I also pray an order of protection over the airspace directly above them and all the way around them, Father God. Thank you. I ask in Father God's name, Jesus, if this could be done in both of your good wills and pleasure. Bind, 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 bind. Attack, 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 attack. So what I do is I say that seven times. You guys should get into this training here. Okay, I've been doing this for three years. And when I want to clear out the skies because of the chemicals up above, this is a common problem. And people want to say that it's airplanes and they're just in denial. And we know it's geoengineering and they're spraying hazardous chemicals upon us every day that's dangerous to our livestock, our animals, and all of our plant life, our trees, and us, guys. So what I do is I pray um, throughout the day. When I see them spraying, and I've caught some incredible things on films where they morph into something. They're not even planes. Um, and then they fly into a cloud and never fly back out again. You can go back on my videos and you can find them, guys. They're there. Um, especially one where I'm at the pool. There is an angel that shows up in the sky, and it is golden, fiery yellow. And it was right when I was saying I couldn't see because I didn't have glasses on. It's an awesome video. And... Um, uh, this was after my, my daughter was swimming in the pool and a feather came down and landed on top of her after I'd been praying against these uh, demons spraying up in the skies. And they all just dissipated. They were all done. It's like they're lying cut in the middle, okay, of spraying. And they just, poof, disappeared. But one flew into a plane and never came out. And I have it on that video. You guys can go watch it. Um, so it's at the pool and it's from, I'd say, about three years ago. So this is what you do, okay? You will plead the blood of Jesus over your home. You plead the blood of Jesus over everything you do when you leave, before you leave. Pray before you leave. Pray over your car, okay? I've had things, you guys, the supernatural realm is unbelievable. And once your eyes are open and you are ali ali oxen free, you've been converted, inverted, both eyes are up. That line is cut to the bottomless pit. And there is a line that's, that goes to the bottomless pit that is watching, and can see all sins that you do. How do you think Satan records everything that he does? Okay. That about you sinning and comes before and um, against the brethren before the Lord and uh, the throne room. 
and accuses us. He's the accuser. So that's just that. Now, um, what you would want to do is pray against the atmosphere. And like I said, I just kind of pray for you guys, like how to loosen down holy warring angels. Each time you say bind, that's one angel and attack. So when I say bind, 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 it's seven times and attack seven times. And I say seven sets or eight sets of that, depending on how I'm feeling. So it's either 49 times that you're saying the sets, um, a total of seven sets or eight at 64. And it is an awesome thing. It's done a lot. It's helped clear out a lot. They don't like me. They can't stand me. <laughs> I'm telling you. They try to trip with me in my head a lot. Like, I mean, really, I get attacked. If I, I don't take devices with me anywhere, phones or nothing, because all kinds of crazy stuff happens to me when I go outside. And plus, God gave me a dream and showed me that my house was where the light was at, and I'm not to film anymore, anything, except for my window. I can film out the window if he tells me to, and he hasn't told me to in quite a while. So, I do. I'll, I'll like, flash it like this for you guys so you can see what kind of weather we got. It's pretty cool. It's a nice day. But, okay. I want to get into these verses, okay, because I've been rambling on for six minutes, and I just pray, Father God, lift these children up, lift these precious souls up in your son's precious name. Jesus, please, in your Father's name, lift these precious souls, these precious children up in your Father's name and in the Holy Spirit's name because Holy Spirit is the one that's with you and he loves you so much, guys. If you would just spend the time, acknowledge him. He is amazing, the Holy Spirit. I mean, he is amazing. He is, he's, he's yoked to you now and there is... No other way to describe it. We're getting so close to like major things happening. So let me go ahead and read these verses because it's really, really something. Please stick with me, guys, through to the end. May I take my time? May I take my time? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start out with Matthew 24, 14. We're going to establish two witnesses. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel... Of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And it says, When ye therefore shall see the, the abomination of desolation spoken of by the Daniel, Daniel the holy prophet, stand in the holy place, who so readeth, let him understand. Okay, I'm going to skip that for now. Okay, so next, Matt 9.38. Matthew 9.38. And I hope you guys are all doing blessed today. I am. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And um, just let no worries and no anxiety slip in. A lot of people are really super stressed out. And there's a lot of division in the church. But the best thing to do is separate yourself away. Forget that guy. Forget that girl. Okay? Your best friend is Jesus. Okay? He's with you. He's the one. And your family members, of course, they're going to... I've lost many family members, but I have my little girl. She's 12. And even we struggle because it's hard on her. Can you only imagine a 12-year-old, the peer pressure in school right now? And so she's been dealing with some anxiety, but we're getting through it. And she knows the truth. She knows the truth. So God, love it. I love it. Amen. Um, all right, Matthew 9, 38. Here we go. I'm not going to interrupt again, guys. Sorry, I'm just like talking because I just... I really do like to talk and talk, converse two-way, not one way. This is a very one-sided conversation. But I hope you guys will talk to me in the comments because it makes me feel it makes me feel good. I have nobody, you guys. Everybody thinks I'm crazy, even at my church, you know, and I love them. They're older and stuff, but they are like stuck in not just they're stuck in a time zone where they're not supposed to be at. That's all I'll say about it, okay? Matthew 9.38. Ready? Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Okay? John 14.12. We have quite a, few to, quite a few to go over, okay guys? But this is really important. I'm going to hurry up now. John 14.12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do 
shall he do also, and greater works than those shall he do, because I go unto my Father. All right? That's John 14, 17. Luke 10, 17. Luke 10, 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils, and in some Bibles it says 72, guys, and that's where the 144 comes from. 70, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as his lightning fall from heaven. Okay? So that's Luke 10, 17, and 18, which I really didn't mean to ring, uh, read, but... And Luke 10, 1 to 7. After these things, the Lord appointed other se the other 70 also, which in some, ver in some Bibles it's 72, guys. And sent them two and two before his face in every city and place, whether he w himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse, nor scrip, nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. And if not, it shall turn to you again. And in the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give. For the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. Okay? So that's Luke 10, 1 through 7. 2 Corinthians 13, 1. Okay, 2 Corinthians 13, 1. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Okay. Now we're going to go to Deuteronomy 17, 6. Deuteronomy 17.6, please, if you're following along. Deuteronomy 17.6. God bless you guys, sisters and brothers. Okay. 17.6. At the month of two witnesses, or th at the mouth, I'm sorry, at the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses, shall he, he that is worthy of death be put to death. But at the mouth of one witness, he shall not be put to death. Okay, that's Deuteronomy. Now we're going to go to uh, Revelation 11.3. 11.3 says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy. A thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Okay. Now Revelation 4. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Okay. Now Revelation 120. If you turn back to Revelation 1 and then we've got verse 20. For the I'm sorry, I'm in James. How did I get all the way back here? Alrighty. Okay, here we go. 120 of Revelation. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Hold on a second. 
I'm sorry, you guys. I'm in Peter still, but that's okay because any extra verse is okay to hear. It doesn't matter. Here we go. I'm sorry. I knew that was off because we were just talking about the two uh, candlesticks and the two olive trees, the two witnesses. All right, here we go. I'm so sorry. I apologize. All right, this is it here. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Okay? Now, that's what's weird. Listen, seven candlesticks. Did he? they just say seven candlesticks? It's the same thing. Right here in Revelation 11. So the seven churches are the candlesticks. And so two out of the seven, do you think possibly, guys, that the 144,000 are the two churches that are the witnesses? Because listen, once you become saved, you are grafted into the olive tree and you are Israel. You're a part of Israel now. Okay? Okay. So um, another thought to consider is it says that that's, uh, the 144,000s are males, right? And it also says that they're defiled and virgins. They're not defiled with, uh, by being virgins. But when you think about it, there's neither nor female or male or Jew or Gentile. Neither. None of those things. So I don't know what man wrote that in there, but that's not of God, in my opinion. Number two, um, it talks about virgins. Maybe it's talking about being penetrated by something like that. Defiled virgins that have not been contaminated with this stuff. Just a thought, guys. We got to think outside the box, right? Okay, let me move on. Isaiah 61 to 3. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. Let me go back here. Deuteronomy 19.15 again. I hope that's... Is that the one I just did? No, I didn't. Deuteronomy 19.15. Deuteronomy 19.15. And then that's not even getting into what he showed me about... Um, Chapter 42 and 43 of Isaiah, and he showed me it's all about the two witnesses, you guys. Oh, come on. Deuteronomy. Here we go. Deuteronomy 19.15. Here we are. Ready? One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity for or for any sin in any sin that he sinneth. At the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. Two witnesses, you guys. It's Everything is a two witness thing, theme. And this is how we're going to be able to move around and get to people. And we're going to either give a verdict of them being guilty or they will repent. Because we're going to be preaching repentance if this is the case. If we are to be in that group, I'm not saying we are. I want to be in the rapture group. I want to go home, guys. I want to be in the wedding. But, you know, either way, what God's will is for us, we have to learn to accept and, and take that, okay? I do not want to be here for the tribulation. No, I don't. But I also know I'm going to get to, let me just read this since we're close. Hosea 2.6, real quick, guys. But I had, yeah, it's before back. No, no, it's not. Such small books. Okay. Here we go. It's got to be right here, guys. That was Peter, John. Well, okay, just, I'm going to go ahead and skip on. I'll find it in a minute. Matthew 13 to 11. Uh, 
Okay, so Matthew 13, 11 states, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. And that's why he speaks in parables, guys. And then the Holy Spirit helps us out and assists us in understanding what's going on. He doesn't do anything without revealing it to his servants, the prophets, first. It's true. He's so awesome and amazing and wonderful and holy and true. Please, if you don't know Jesus, if you haven't given your life entirely over to him and committed to him, please, A, admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. This world, have you taken a look at what's happening? 